I S U P K. Hey, slow man. It's Priest Kevin Condoha with the I S U P K. Gonna come in and join you in California, man. Tell all blacks, Hispanics, and any Indians subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You gotta learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Run. It's time for the truth to reign, man. December 25th. Why are we, why are we celebrating Christmas? Why are we out here buying gifts and under a tree? Why? Because it was Christ's birthday? That's a lie. Show me where December 25th was the day Jesus Christ was born. Don't trip. <laughs> Don't trip. Show me where December 25th is where Jesus Christ was born. You're lying to them kids, man. Why, Mommy, why do we have a tree? Because this is Christ's birthday. That's a lie. That's a lie. You're lying to your kids. And you're going to be mad when they lie about the weed. You're going to be mad when they lie about being a goddamn homosexual and a lesbian. You're going to be mad about when they lie about aborting that baby. But it started with you. You lied to them. Christ wasn't born on no December 25th, man. Where are them Christians at? I just heard the church bells ringing. Toll the bell. Toll the bell. Well, I want one of them good Christians for evening mass to come and show me Christ being born on December 25th in the Bible. Show them the book up. You can come up here and grab this book and show it to me. I'll give you all the money in my pocket and I'll pack up and go home. Christ wasn't born on December 25th. So why are you out here? Why are you celebrating Christmas? How huh? the Christmas spirit. If Christ wasn't born on December 25th, whose spirit are you having? Huh? Whose spirit is it? You're working with Satan, Negro. You're working with Satan. Christmas is the most satanic holiday ever in the whole entire world. It's more love than a little, it's more hate than a little bit. You want to talk about the happiest time of the year? Ask them kids right now who's sitting somewhere in foster care because the house burned down this morning. Ask them kids right now who mother done got shot from some brother who are oppressed by the Christmas spirit because of greed and lust. You're a goddamn liar. And you know what the thing is? You Negroes know it's a lie. You know Christmas is some must of BS. But you still do it. Why? Because you want to just, you know, be happy and get gifts and give gifts. Christmas is a satanic holiday. Give me Luke 2 and 8 real quick. I'm going to show you where Christ was really born. You know, talk about oh, holy night. The stars was brightly shining and all that trash. Christ wasn't born in no dead or winter, man. And that's in the Bible. Show me where Christ was born December 25th in the Bible, Christians. You good and Christian, right? You went to Mass this morning? Huh? You went to Mass in, in Omni Horse and Deed Horse and Dios and all kind of Latin you're learning in them goddamn churches. And your preacher and your reverend is lying to you. And you love the lies. You love the lies. That's, listen, that's the proof you Christians are hypocrites. You can't show me where Christ was born. Yet you tell your children Christ was born December 25th. You're a liar. You're a bold-faced liar. You hate God. You hate God. You hate the Bible. You hate the truth. I'm going to give you the truth right now. Give me Luke 2 and 8. Go, go. Luke chapter 2 verse 8. And they were in the same country. In fact, start at verse 1. Come on, come. Verse 1. And it came to pass in those days. And there went out a decree.
from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. Now listen, this is in the book of Luke. It says Caesar Augustus said all the world. Which world? The world that was run by the Roman Empire. You ever heard the phrase, all roads lead to Rome? Because the Roman Empire expanded far and wide outside of Italy, man. Far and wide. And they said the whole world was to be taxed, was to be extorted in other words. Because when our oppressor taxes us, it's extortion. Because you don't put no money back in our community. You rob us blind. And you rob us again. But they were to be taxed. Anybody know when tax season is? Are we in tax season right now? Hell no. Everybody wait until that so-called New Year. Everybody wait until that so-called what? Spring season for tax season. It's been that season ever since the time of Christ, man. Tax season ain't never changed. It never changed. Read. Verse 2. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. Right, and at this time... This was the first period of taxing. And we gonna see when this tax season was. Go ahead. Verse three. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. Right, and at that time, everyone went to his own city to be taxed. Cause you got to make tax to Caesar. And we gonna see what's significant about this tax season. Go ahead. Verse four. And Joseph also went up from Galilee. And who? And Joseph. And who? Joseph. Who is Joseph? Joseph is Jesus Christ's father. Joseph had sex with Mary to make Jesus Christ. You think, you think some Holy Spirit impregnated Mary. Joseph had sex with Mary and made Jesus Christ. Joseph is Jesus Christ's father. And Joseph went to pay his taxes. Go ahead. And Joseph also went up from Galilee uh -huh. out of the city of Nazareth. Go ahead. Into Judea, Go ahead. Un unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Right, Joseph went went to, to the city of David. Why did he go to the city of David, aka Bethlehem? It said every man went to his own city. Joseph was from the city of David, and that's significant. Why, read on. Because he was of the house and lineage of David. Because why? Because he was of the house. And lineage of David. Because he was of the household and the lineage, the line, the line, the family tree, the birth line of David. Joseph was a descendant of David. Joseph was a descendant of King Solomon. That's how Christ is the king of Israel because he descends from David. Christ wasn't born with no immaculate conception. That's line number one right there. You're lying to them kids talking about a ghost impregnate Mary because when your woman horn you and tell you yeah it, it just happened you believe that too no nah, no nah. if God impregnated Mary that would make God an adulterer because Joseph married Mary Mary was his wife any man having sex with Mary after that is an adulterer but you Christians believe God is wicked like you you Christians believe God is your preacher who having sex with your woman and molesting every goddamn child. The Christian church is the house of Satan, man. Right. It's the house of lies. It's the house of whores and homosexuals. And that's why your house gonna burn down tonight. Because you're listening to the church. You wanna go make a bomb with a tree with lights, electricity, put it in water. And now tomorrow morning you're gonna be crying. Some of y'all was crying this morning. Because you worship lies and you follow lies, man. And you hate God. We tell you the truth and you despise what we say. You know, you think it comes from us. We reading out the Bible. You ain't got to be angry with us. Be angry with God. Read. Verse 5. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife. Right. He went to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife. Why? Mary was given to him. She was espoused to him. Go ahead. Being great with child. Being what? Great. With child. Now Mary was pregnant in the tax season. She was pregnant great with child. Not meaning in her first trimester or second trimester. We talking about the late two. We talking about that third trimester. That high belly. That waddle them women like to give. Where they got to sit down with their hand first. That's how big her belly was. She was what with child? Being great with child. She was great.
great with child in tax season. December 25th, ain't nobody paying taxes now, is there? You paying a bunch of taxes because you're buying gifts because you're wicked. Because you're full of Satan. You're wicked, that's why you're paying it now. But the tax season, where you, re where you, you reconcile your damn books and your income for the year, tax season is in the spring. And in the spring, the Bible says, Mary was great with child. Go ahead. Verse 6. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. That she should be what? Delivered. That she should be what? Deliver. So when Joseph took Mary to do their taxes in the springtime, because that's the tax season, her days were accomplished with this child. He was to be delivered. Jesus Christ was not born December 25th. He was born in the springtime, in the height of tax season, man. You're living a lie, black man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man. You're living a goddamn lie. But you want to believe your preacher. You want to believe your imam. You want to believe your Scientologist. You want to believe your Rastafarian elders. You want to believe everybody but a nigga who looks just like you. Who used to do everything you used to do and found the truth and changed their life. You don't want to believe your own brothers. You don't want to believe your own brothers. But you're going to believe your oppressor, the white man, who is the devil the Bible speaks of. Who is full of Satan. Who hates you and despises you. Don't you know slave masters celebrated Christmas too? What do you think was gifts? When, when was the, um, the, the independence? 1776? J July 4th, 1776? Listen man, in 1776, December, what do you think the slave master gave the next slave master for Christmas? An iPhone? Huh? What, some Lego blocks? He gave them your grandmother, nigga. He gave them your grandfather with a bow tied around them. Worst off if you had a young teenage daughter, man. She going as a gift to some slave master. But you walking around today jolly as can goddamn be, thinking you goddamn sent. You believe a fat white man ride a sleigh with reindeers in the goddamn sky. But you tell me I'm crazy. You believe a man ride a goddamn sleigh in the sky every night and slide down a chimney that you can't slide down. But I'm crazy. When I show you in the Bible, Christ was not born on December 25th. Read on. Verse 7. And she brought forth her firstborn son. And she what? And she brought forth her firstborn son Go ahead. and wrapped him in swaddling clothes. Right, she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes. Y'all know the story? This is where they pick it up in the Christian church. But they don't have a breakdown that this was in tax season, which is not in December, which is not in January, man. Tax season is spring. Christ wasn't born in no dead of winter, man. Keep reading. Where you at? Verse 7? Give me verse 8. Come on, come on, sir. Come on. Verse 8. And there were in the same country. And there were what? We're in the same country. The Bible says, and there, where Jesus Christ was born in tax season to a black man and a black woman, in that same country, go ahead, abiding in their field. Abiding in the field, meaning wandering out in the fields, in the open plains, go ahead. Keeping watch over their flock by night. Uh -huh. Verse 9. Hold on, you read, read that again from the top. I, I believe you skipped a word, an important word. Read it again. Verse 8. And there were in the same country shepherds. Who? Shepherds. Who? Shepherds. Go ahead. Abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Now let me ask you something. If Christ was born... December 25th in the dead of winter. It get colder at night than in the daytime. Which shepherd you think gonna be in the field with the sheep having them graze in the middle of winter? What grass they eating? Your front lawn brown right now, nigga. <laughs> and there ain't no snow on the ground. Your front lawn brown right now, you can't even pull the grass up. You think them shepherds was out there in the middle of winter with their sheep? No, no. That was springtime, man, when that grass is good. When that grass is good, Christ wasn't born no December 25th. Christ was born in the, in, around the damn tax season. And you're so busy worshiping these idols. Give me the Apocrypha. Give me Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 real quick, man. 
You're the wisdom of Solomon chapter 13. You're following these goddamn idols to your death. Santa Claus bring you gifts, you tell your children that. But when the house burn down, oh God. Oh God. Why are you calling God name when it's all bad? You're teaching your children to hate God. That's why your children grow up. Born Christian, turn Muslim, then atheist, then Scientologist. They change gods through their life. But they keep Santa. Because Santa brings gifts. But when the house burn down, oh God. So when you're disappointed now, you gotta change God. Nigga, change Santa. Change Santa, nigga. Santa and bust this behind for 40 hours for that PlayStation 5. Your mother and your father did. And they don't have to give it to you December 25th. Put that little hole back up here, man. Put that little Harvey Weinstein back up here. I ain't done with him. Read. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect, this be punished Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper a toilet, I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler Warhol, or even call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fares in order